The next step of solving the Rubik's Cube using this method is to solve all the edges. So first and foremost we need to make all the edges of the, the correct orientation. So before I've talked about doing things left-handed and doing things right-handed, we're going to change it so that everything we do is going to be right-handed. And the way we do that is we make it so that all the edges ha are, have yellow pointing up. So if this has got yellow pointing up, we can swap it for a piece that doesn't have yellow pointing up. So this one, for example. So the way we would do that is we would position it above uh, on our cycle and do our algorithm until it pops into the slot like that and now we would turn it round and see another piece and again we would do our algorithm uh, until one of the yellow pieces popped into the slot again this way round we'll see we want to do some swapping with this red one so we'll do the algorithm again until it pops into the slot and then finally we can do left handed until it pops back into the slot now what we have here is we've managed to flip all the edges by doing alternate right and left handed versions of the algorithm now that they're all pointing up we, can, we don't need to do left handed algorithms anymore um, if we were to do left handed algorithms we'd end up twisting one of these um, these ones that we've already worked so hard to get um, here with. Now what we need to do is we need to position these so above their corresponding centers. So here we have the red followed by orange, blue and green and that's wrong because these two are opposite colors. Green is opposite blue and these two are opposite colors. Red is opposite orange. So what we can do is we can look at this as just a quick cycle. We can hide an edge and use it to replace this one. So this is, we, you, you, you can look at it from the point of view of doing an algorithm where this one swaps with this one. So you can do the algorithm again and to swap these two and this one will pop into the slot. So if you do the algorithm now, red and orange is now opposite each other. So that's correct. Now this one this one needs to go into this slot. Now, bear in mind that the red is going to get upset by this. So what we'll do is we'll do it once and that will move the blue piece into here. So now these two are, are correct with each other and we now need to get this piece um, into here. It, sorry, this piece into here and this piece into here. Now that is our algorithm one last time because we know that this can go to here and then this will go to here. So that would solve that. Okay, and now we have it so that all the edges match their corresponding um, centers, especially this one. Now that's, that's the most complicated step and requires the most practice to see how it's going to work. It is intuitive and you can use the same method um, that we've been using so far. Um, one other example of a, that where it might go a bit awry, and I'll do as, as a caveat for this one. So let's say for example we have a situation like this, um, whereby what I've done is I have um, tried to mix things up a little bit by pushing them out by um, by one. So what we have here is we have um, what appears to be just two edges swapped. Actually, it's they're, they're not; these aren't swapped themselves. What we've actually got is we've got a cycle whereby this needs to go to here, this needs to go to here, and this needs to go to here. Remember, edges move in a cycle of three. So the way you would do this is you would look at moving this one to here and when you move this one to here this one would be hidden you then uh, move swap it for this one and try and get this one in so it's, it's a bit confusing but what you can do 
is you can go you can hide this edge move the u-face and swap it for this one and then because we know that you're going to go into the cycle here you can put it into this slot come back and finish off so all what you've done there is you've manually hidden the slot and just moved you've gone one two one two back again that's an alternate way of doing it because what you're doing is you're, as, you're, as I said is you're moving this edge to here this edge to here and this edge back again it looked like two edges need to, needed to swap that can't happen it has to be in a cycle of three so the next step after that is solving the corners let's do that next <coughs>